Hello and welcome to another episode of Vince Vlogs. Previously, I visited the Wine and Spirits Festival in Taipei with Penn and Vanessa. While there, I met one of Vanessa's friends, a Taiwanese business owner named Jerry. Jerry and I hit it off pretty well, and he invited me to come check out a cafe that he owns in Taipei called Yup Cafe and Bistro. How could I say no? I decided to take him up on his offer. Yup Cafe and Bistro is located in Shinyi District, one of the trendiest and most expensive districts in Taipei. With so many foreigners living in the area, finding cuisine from all over the world is fairly easy. Upon arriving, I could tell I was going to like Yup Cafe and Bistro. While not contemporary or luxurious, it was large, festive, and instantly offered a feeling of comfort and familiarity. The alcohol shelf did not disappoint either. Remember Vanessa? She was my guide at the Wine and Spirits Festival. Well, she decided to join me for this little culinary adventure as well. This time, her husband was able to come along too, which was great. Once Jerry cleared out his last large party, we finally had a chance to sit down, drink some wine, and get some Q&A time in. Jerry informed me that he recently purchased Yup Cafe and Bistro from a previous owner. So the business is relatively new and still a work in progress. He shared some of his other ventures with me as well. Among other things, Jerry imports expensive sake and other products from Japan. He even owns a romaine lettuce farm in the west of Taiwan near Miaoli. I suppose you could call him a serial entrepreneur in the food and beverage industry. Hi, I'm Jerry. Um, I'm host of this uh, bistro. And yeah, I'm single. I love cooking and making friends. And yes, I'm alcoholic. Definitely alcoholic. Yes. Come visit me and I'll show you the fun. Don't expect your typical uptight businessman, though. He's nothing of the sort. After the sit-down, Jerry decided to showcase one of his important Japanese products with me, karasumi. Karasumi is mullet roe, or in other words, mullet fish eggs that have been salted and dried in sunlight. It is torched and served immediately. It's not something I'd ever really eaten before, and I was not sure if it was something that I would actually like, as I've never been one for caviar. Thankfully, it wasn't too bad. I got through it. <laughs> okay, that pairs. That pairs with it pretty well. Sweet and salty. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that hit of salty like right away. Together, they're good. That wasn't the only item on the menu for us, though. Jerry brought out several dishes, including Korean fried chicken with sweet and spicy sauce. We wound up ordering two of those. Overall, the food was flat out amazing. Yes, this is what it's all about. Good food and good times with friends. There was still the small matter of a drink list to get through, and wine was up first. That gave Jerry the chance to share two more of his imported products with us. Yo, what do you got? His sake and his cherry blossom sake glass. The Sakura blossoms on the glass turned pink whenever any ice-cold liquid was poured into it. It was pretty unique to yeah, say the it's least. Yeah, to go through. Looks like... Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, I got it now. I also had a chance to meet Yup Cafe and Bistro's team of extremely talented bartenders. They were a fun group and pretty down to earth. It wasn't hard to get them in front of the camera, and I was very impressed with the level of professionalism that they displayed at all times. They gave me a demonstration of their skill, making me one of their house specialty cocktails. It was pretty awesome to say the least. I mean, just check this out.
Overall, Yelp Cafe and Bistro did everything well. The food was great, the drinks were great, and the prices were reasonable. It's a great place to kick back with friends and unwind with a few drinks after a long day. I'm glad I had the chance to check it out, and I'd definitely go back in the near future. Thanks for stopping by, and be sure to subscribe and hit the like and notification buttons. I'll see you in the next video.